Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is like the fifth time I've tried this video. This is a do your dailies and tips for beginners type of video. I'll be talking about stuff that you should do um, and why. <laughs> Every time I do this video I say something that and I'm like super tired of hearing myself and I'm like I'm so monotone I can't do this. But I'm gonna try. This, this one's it. <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to talk about is here at the at uh, Protectors Enclave in the Seven Suns Coaster Market. I'll sh kind of show you a little bit of where this guy is. Um, so you come here and here's the entrance. You're going to get a quest to find this guy anyway. You're going to want to come here to the Dungeon Chest Keymaster. I already got mine, so it'll be right there between store and tell me more about dungeons. Um, you get his key always get this key because it, once you do join a guild and go to your stronghold to do your daily quests one uh, the cleric will send you to a specific dungeon and if you want the reward at the end um, you're gonna want that key that's what that key is for so let's head over to the stronghold And once you're level 20, you can join a guild. I suggest joining a regular rank 2, 3, 4 guild. Just anybody that doesn't necessarily need you to donate a whole lot to the guild. Um, since you're going to be a low level, you're not going to have access to um, like so much gold. It is possible to get 5 gold even at level 20. Um, but you don't want to donate all of that because you might need to buy potions or you know, anything else that you might want that'll help you along the way. So join a regular everyday guild um, that doesn't ask too much, especially since you're kind of a low level. So you're going to come here, and this guy here is going to be the one to talk to, I believe, and he'll give you certain quests that, that kind of get you familiar with your stronghold. After you get familiar and do a few quests here and there, you run around, you figure out, you know, where the bank is and what to do and how to donate to the coffer. Every day you're going to come to these same people. So it's the Master of Coin, the Ranger, here, the Cleric, here, and this is the guy that gives you, you know, daily dungeons. The Ranger is keeping the peace, so he asks you to slay enemies in whatever zone um, that you're pretty much doing your quests in. Um, and this one here that takes you to the Protector's Enclave to recruit workers and mercenaries and stuff like that. I usually don't do hers. I've done only two, which is recruit mercenaries and guards uh, or workers. I can't remember. Recruits? I don't remember. But you just go to the Protector's Enclave and you recruit people. It's super easy. But I just find it it's a waste of time for me. Um, as far as these three down here, those are the quests I do daily. Um, and let's go through those quests just quickly. They're going to be here. They're going to be in blue because they're repeatable. And doing the rounds is complete quests in Velosk, which is my area that I'm doing right now because I'm actually level 47. I actually, you should be like in the early 40s, if not late 30s, um, when you're in Velosk. <laughs> but I actually did so many dailies that I leveled really, really fast because the cleric gives you a substantial amount of XP when you do your dungeons and you turn and you turn it in. He, oh my god, I leveled like a whole level one time. Actually a couple times I think. Anyway, so she says, you know, complete your quests in the areas that you have quests in and then you come over here and you turn you turn in like, yeah, I've done these quests and she gives you a, a XP. You know, you're gonna do these quests anyway. She just kind of, she's there, you know, to give you extra XP above it. Keeping the peace that you got from the ranger. Defeat enemies in Veloz, Pirate Skyhold, Ice Spire Peak, and the Chasm. You're going to kill these enemies anyway to do your quests. So he's giving to do it. I don't know why. I don't know why I went out. So then the cleric, Stronghold Dungeon Delves. He asked me to complete the dungeon, the Frozen Heart. Well, his is like kind of extra. You don't have to do dungeons kind of if you don't want to. But I guess that's why he gives you so much XP. Because for the ranger... And her over there, the Master of Coin, you're going to do the quests they've asked you to. You're going to do the things they've asked you to regardless. So they don't give you a whole lot, but the cleric here does, since you don't have to do your dungeons daily. 
but that's really cool. So when you do those things, they give you certain items that you donate to the coffers. And this will be your bank if you want to save certain things that you know you're not going to use. You don't get a whole lot of space, but I'm trying to save these till I'm level 70 to, you know, gain stuff. I don't even know exactly what they do. I'm just saving them. This is your coffer. And this is where you're going to um, donate. If you have an alliance, you're going to have, um, where it says empty, you're going to have more guilds if it's a big guild with a strong alliance with other guilds they're going to be listed here i guess we don't i'm in the guild death dealers for now i guess we have an alliance with neverwinter's rusher or whatever so donate to whichever but i suggest donate donating to your guild first so i don't really have anything to donate if i want to donate gems i'm pretty sure i might have picked up something i don't want whatever I'll just donate these two things. So you are donating training room stones, rank three times two, because I'm donating two. So, and then you get stuff. You get guild marks. And once you've donated them, you can't get them back. And there it is. And right out there, I get guild marks. I have 758. So whenever you get stuff to donate, donate it if you don't want it. Donate it if you feel you have too much gold that you don't know what to do with it donate stuff to the guild get guild marks you get a maximum of i think thirty thousand guild marks which is pretty cool and you just do that and do that the next thing i wanted to talk about was if you notice at the top right hand side corner of the screen there's a countdown it's at 10 28 27 26 well that countdown signifies um invoking your god which you're going to come here and you'll get a quest and it'll show you what to do and it'll be in the protector's enclave and you go talk to some girl to some npc chick and she tells you what to do so you're going to do that and it'll give you a countdown every time as to when you'll be able to invoke again so i'm paying i'm playing on a ps4 so i'm just going to hit l1 and if you notice at the bottom things change and you also have a countdown there it's the same countdown on the right square so it's there's well anyways so L1, you hit right on the D-pad, and I'll take you here. If I was ready to invoke, you'd see something different, but I still got nine minutes remaining. So the next time I invoke, this is what I'm going to get. Since I've already done it three times before, this will be my fourth time doing it. I'm going to get XP, and it'll tell you how much XP, and then I'm going to get bonus rough astral diamonds, um, a celestial bag of refinement, bonus XP points, and invocation blessing. Using this icon will bestow the blessings of your God upon you for the next 15 minutes. I use that when I'm doing, um, when I'm kind of soloing stuff and I'm ready to hit a boss, like you're doing a quest dungeon where you know you're by yourself and all you have is your companion and you're about to slay some stuff. Um, use it. I have 39. I mean, if you keep doing this every time, you get one every single time. So it's not like you're going to really run out, especially if you do this every day. Um, as far... Let's see what else. Now, it gives you XP. That's cool. You can even level up if you're close enough. If, you know, it, it warrants it, you can level up at these spots every time you invoke. Um, since you're getting XP, it helps you level up. Duh. Well, anyways, these rough astral diamonds, um, keep getting them... Keep... What is it? <laughs> keep getting them? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Uh, the point is because when you go down here to your companions under your character, I have the wayward wizard and the maiden and this guy. I don't know who he is and I named them the stupidest things like Sir Buford, Cornelius III. I don't know why, don't ask me. Um, but down here where your companion is, when you first get them, you'll get a quest and it'll tell you go here, go here, talk to this guy, read everything, that way you know what to do. Um, and then you once you pretty much, they'll be in your inventory, and you kind of have to like equip them in a way, and then you'll go here under character and companions, and at the bottom you'll see, you know, dismiss. Well, if I dismiss her, I hit square and I can summon her again. Um, if you hit triangle, companion options, you'll see training. Training you will have to do every few minutes. Um, that's why I got three, so if I'm, if I have one in training, I can summon another one to help me out, or if I have two in training, I have another one to help me out. 
they've all reached um, level 20. So I have to um, upgrade them all and I don't have the astral diamonds. Um, this is kind of a thing I've run into with both characters that I've played with. So you get a choice to upgrade their quality. Um, hold on. Upgrade quality to his name is Trevor. Trevor will be upgraded to uncommon quality, gain a 10% rating bonus, and have a max rank of 25. A companion's rank is a factor in its ratings, powers, runestone slots, item slots, and skins available. So if I wanted to, I can't, but um, you need 50,000 every time to level them, level them up to 25. I have 38. So how can I get more? Well, if you want to know how to get more, you're going to go to inventory. You're going to go to riches. And you're going to go down. So astral diamonds. Gain astral diamonds by purchasing, by purchasing, I, oh god, oh my god, okay. Gain astral diamonds by purchasing them from the astral diamond and Zen exchange. Or by refining rough astral diamonds. Use astral diamonds to buy items from the auction house or buy Zen on the astral diamonds and exchange. And you can also do other things like upgrade your companions. So rough astral diamonds. Gain rough astral diamonds by participating in the daily quests or invoking your god killing board. Your automa you automatically refine rough astral diamonds into astral diamonds each time you log in or move to another map. Right now I don't have any, because um, I guess I did that. Yesterday I had 33, just above 33,000 astral diamonds, and I had a bunch of rough astral diamonds, so once I logged in today or logged out yesterday, I don't know, they changed, and now I have more. So it does it automatically, you don't have to do a thing. Ardent coins and celestial coins. You get those by invoking. Um, gain ardent coins by invoking your god, Kelimbor. That's the god I chose. You know, same thing. Celestial, um, gain celestial coin the first time you invoke Kelimbor and on any given day. So what do you do with these coins? You go here to the store. You go to the Vault of Piety. And let's see. I'm at the celestial... Celestial Synergy, so I'm using Celestial Coins, which will be at the bottom right hand of this box. Those are your Celestial Coins, so I have 5 out of 14, which, you know, once you get 11, you can start buying stuff, or 7, or 3. I have 5, but I don't really want that. I'll wait to maybe get an artifact, or artifact equipment, actually. I'll wait for that. Let's see, L1, Ardent Favor, which are going to be at the bottom left hand corner of this box. I only have two because I got confused. I thought these were the ones that, you know, maxed out at 14 and I bought a bunch of Elixir of Coraline's Blood, which I can't use until I'm level 50 and I'm level 47. So I was a little upset. <laughs> I was upset because I want the Angel of P Protection. I hear this guy's really good. I, I've seen him a couple times and I really want that guy. But you only get like one a day, so it's going to take a while for 360. I mean, if you play every day, you get one in a year. Yeah. So at least log in every day and go to an altar. They're everywhere. They're easy to find. Invoke the gods, and there you go. You can log out and go about your day if you're not planning on playing. So that's a tip. Um, so we talked about keys, we talked about doing your dailies in Stronghold, talked about the altar, upgrading your companions. That's about it as far as I can remember. I hope this helped. Um, if it did, hit that like button. It helps other people searching for these type of videos to find a little faster. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try and make this a Neverwinter channel with... Um, I do a lot of Snapchat stuff and maybe a review one day. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is just like a, gen it's not a one thing only YouTube channel. But if you like it, if you're cool with it, subscribe. Um, if not, at least if you learn something, if you're able to take something from this video, hit the like button for me. It helps me out. And hopefully I will see you guys again. Thanks for watching.